Yeah, I don't have everything I need. <laughs> what? I've got, I've got my trusty Benchmade. Okay, here's a team here. We are at Impact Guns. It is Fire Armageddon in progress here. Look at their AR-15 wall. It's empty. Empty. Completely empty. It was Black Friday in here again on Friday when I was here. To, took from yesterday to today just to get through the BCI. Yeah, they're saying here come back uh, Monday perhaps for BCI. It's Saturday right now. Uh, that's a background check and they're just so backlogged the phone is ringing off the hook. This is unprecedented. We've never seen anything like this before. By the way, that Colt 6920 that guy's looking at right there is uh, $2,100. Supply and demand. Supply and demand. If you had the money, I wouldn't. I mean, if you don't have one, I'd get it. Yeah. So what were we talking about? What were we talking about? Oh yeah, gear check. When you least expect it, you run into nothing fancy. <laughs> this guy's a TMP here. He said hello off camera. Here we go. What you got? Um, keys. A uh, little little utility, utility knife. knife. Razor Trust blade. bench made AFO. Excellent. Yeah. Nice. Cool. And auto on you. I've got my bag in the car. That's, Grab a go bag. Exactly Where's your gun right now, bro? Um, in, the, uh, uh, in the car. <laughs> <laughs> would you have ever guessed when you left the house this morning that you would run into me I and know. you'd get busted without I know. your gun? I know. It's what I always say in my reviews. <laughs> I failed that one. Here we are. See, I'm, I'm on a quick break from work. <laughs> do you guys you want to tell what you do for a living or no? Um, it's no, up to I, you. I do. Uh, Technology sells, and, okay. and uh, during the week, on the weekend, I work part time. And uh, yeah, I'm just an average Joe. I'm very concerned about the direction this country's going in. Um, more, more concerned for the future of my kids and my family. So, and you know, this channel uh, it's got some valuable information, and the, and it's one of the places you can find truth. Thank you. And that's that's the the key thing right there, the truth of what's really going on. That's what I'm after. I yeah. want the truth. I want the truth in the gear review. I want the truth in my philosophy videos. Yep. I'm not always right. I just try to drive and find that truth as best I can. Yeah. And no, you you do you you do your due diligence and you put it out there. And like you say, you tell us to go out there and, and check it. Yeah. And that's what people need to do. They need to go out for themselves, do their due diligence, and find out for themselves. Right. The truth. The truth can't be. Pressed down, it always has a way of coming up. So. It does, doesn't it? Yep. It cannot be repressed. It is always going to come right back to your face sooner or later, no matter what the smoke screen is, no matter what the obfuscation. I can't even say the word obfuscation. Obfuscation. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big word. I suck. All right, my gear check. You want to film me? Let's see. Okay. It's yeah, going to be got, lame. See, I don't have my bracelet either. Okay, I just got a little survival bracelet on today. It's a black variety today. Uh, here, you're filming. Film against that black wall so we can see the starkness of Fire Armageddon. Yeah. Okay, what gun am I carrying? TMP ears? Any ideas? Wrong. We'll not the Glock 26. Not the PF9. I know that's what you were saying, right? <laughs> that's been Recently, or very soon, you'll see that I was carrying a Walther PPQ. No. It, uh, it is Psych. A Glock 20. 20. 10 millimeter. Oh, 10 millimeter. Nice. <laughs> Nice. How's that? And that's in a uh, Blade Tech Nano inside the waistband holster. Still, yeah, big firepower today. Yeah, this sucker is 40 ounces loaded. That's a sweet pistol. Let's see what yeah, we got here. Like that. How's that? For Fire Armageddon gear check. Yeah, so you really nice. got to push that in because it's fully loaded till you hear a click. And then I'm rocking the standard, somewhat unmanly fanny pack. Don't care. <laughs> Deal with it. Cold steel. Oh yeah, cold steel. I love that Bad knife. deployment. That's a knife. That's a knife. That's an old school Voyager Tanto blade. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's cool. It's that's very light. Knife. Big blade. I don't know if I broke that out into that's a summer a great view. Knife. And then just I still have the Spider Coast stretch and rotation. Yeah, those are fantastic. I already reviewed that one. I just love yeah, it. Great knife. So light, full flat ground, VG10 steel. I've been showing it a lot lately in my recent vids. And there's the, uh, the other stuff you guys always see. My light. My yep. cadet yep. is in there. And then my keys. That's it. So Nice. Hey, I pass the gear check. I failed miserably. You did. <laughs> you did. It's not the first time or the last time we'll see it on the TMP camera. You know, the question is, dude, is when all this goes down, are we still going to be doing gear checks I know. in 2013? Perhaps not. 
I think the, the capacity, they'll be going for the 10 rounders. 10 rounders I'm yeah. fighting against it tooth and nail, so should you be. But yeah. if that does, I, you know, standard carries. I think the 1911s, they've always been popular, but they'll come back and resurge. Yeah, yeah, eight rounds stuff. And eight, yeah, eight or ten rounds. Mostly what I carry is, uh, you know, eight round pistol like the PF9. That's a seven plus one. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for being on camera. Yes. This uh, quality, another quality TMP -er. Saying hello, we're Impact Guns, yeah. experiencing firearm history in a very bad way. This is Fire Armageddon at Impact. Thanks, bro. Oh, thank you. Keep watching. Yeah, it's good to see you. Glad to run into you. 5.56 on the 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 5.56 at least for what I call normal capacity magazines for tactical carbines and such. There's a couple here, but they're in oddball calibers where the guns are not that available. That's an Arsenal 223 mag, Bulgarian variety, for I think the SLR 106U pistol. There's Derek over there working the phones, working hard, selling. I'm not sure what he's selling actually because there's not much over there to sell. A couple. There's some guns in the pistol cases, you know, here and there. Not a lot. And we're running to another TMP here. Oh, yeah, you bet. Dude, you watched my videos? I just watched Close to Engage this morning. You did? Yeah, in light of what's happened, I thought that'd be a good one to kind of go over and review. So. Thank you. Yeah, yeah what'd you think? Really hit home. It's yeah. brutal, isn't it? It is, but, brutal uh, truth. Yeah, I wanted to kind of review it and go over, you know, being prepared and then using what you have to in your arsenal. So. And all we're talking about in Close to Engage is uh, helping people. Yeah. Keeping another mass murder episode from going worse. Right. And Absolutely. so people can roll in with their, their stupid logic of we need more laws. I mean, how many laws were broken in the Connecticut shooting? One of the biggest anti-gun states in the union right and this right. guy ignored all of them as they always will and right the murders still take place what's going to happen is, what's going to prevent it is immediate armed intervention right. probably by you right Oregon Oregon mall it was a civilian sheepdog that intervened it wasn't yep. there's Ellie or grape they're not around right everybody always says don't be a hero son just you know lay there but I say you know be a hero don't don't be hot-headed don't go looking for problems but uh, Step in there and then do your best to, to help save lives. That's what it's about. So, so if you would have been in the Oregon Mall, like that Nick or Neil, I forget the dude's name, Melly, M-E-L-I, what would you have done? Would you have just said, hey, um, he's not directly threatening me, I'm walking away? No, I, I hope in my heart of hearts, I, I believe that I absolutely would have done what he would have done. You know, um, I've been in some scary situations. Um, and so I, I On the feel, video game console you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, the video game, yeah, absolutely. Dude, so, you know, I, I feel like that's prepared me. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Everybody knows that uh, that's real life, so yeah, that's prepared me absolutely. No, but you've been in some situations. Yeah, you've been in the situations where you know your legs get heavy and your adrenaline pumps, and you hopefully that prepares you at least a little bit to kind of know how to, to control that because you know you're never 100% prepared to know how to how you're going to react and how you're going to feel. But you hope that you can at least control it enough to calm down and make some good decisions. Our first option, if it's not a mass murder situation, is to flee, to get Absolutely. out of there and not yep. engage. Yeah. Um, the close to engage video is directly, direct, not directly directed, but it's meant for a mass shooting. Right. So right. I mean, we have yeah, the road rage stuff, that silly shooter. stuff. Get out of there. Yeah, get out of there. Retreat, dude. You'll be yep. so glad you did. Forget yep. your ego and all that. Right. Is. Right. That, talk your way out of it. Right. Defuse it. Absolutely. And then, no matter how bad the person is, we don't want to take another human life. Right. Uh, people who totally are agree. clued in that are not part of what I'm calling now the mobsters, the mobbers, they'll get it. Right. It resonates with them. Totally agree. Okay, so you walked out the house, you watched Close to Engage. You didn't know you were going to run into me today. No. Hey, by the way, you look familiar, dude. Aren't you yeah. like Crockett's boyfriend or something? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen well, you on a Crockett video before. Well, Am I right? We're not exact. You know, he's a. <laughs> Oh, his here. wife doesn't know. Well, oh no. My here's gosh, the thing. Here's I the thing. My mouth shut. Crockett kidding. does want. I'm have kidding. Me. Crockett wants to have my babies. Crockett, <laughs> 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 let's just totally bust on him right now. He has no idea. What but I'm I keep trying to push him it. away. You know, he sends me the flowers and the candies yeah, yeah. and all that. Yeah. Um, 
you know, he's not really my type. He's a little bit short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the wrong gender. Yeah. All that stuff. We love For Crockett. Me. He's a great yeah, dude. Yeah, he is. He really is. Quality you know, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> seen him in a lot of your videos, mm -hmm. and uh, I ended up having an opportunity to go shooting with him and, and stuff like that. Just a really down to earth guy. Totally is. And we just signed that pink uh, Cricket uh, 22. I think they're auctioning awesome. it off for. Uh, a Marine Corps charity for children, I think. So awesome. Yeah. So we just awesome. visited one another. You'll see him more on the camera. So cool. Cool. All right, brother. Gear check. I'm always prepared. You can ask my wife since I've. I believe you are. Uh -huh. Yeah. Every I day, you. I pretty much am carrying a knife. Today it is. What is it? It's a CRKT. Excellent. I carry this because I'm a mechanic at a shop, and late at night I have to go close the gate. And this is semi-tactical. Where? Uh -huh. So it's a CRK M M21 and small. Yep. Right. Or medium, I forget which yeah. one they called it. I reviewed that like in 2008 or 2009. Yeah. The larger version is the one that I had fold on me when I batoned with it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, Pro yeah. tip. Don't baton with your Carson. I'm sorry, your CRKT M21. Doesn't work. You know that whole locks thing? It turns it into a fixed blade? Nah. It doesn't work at all. You live and learn, right? Right. Okay, good job. You passed with a knife. Looks like you've got a little multi-tool in there. Look at this team. Recommended by Nothing Fancy. Nice. Absolutely. Fist bump for the S2 juice. I use that all the time as a mechanic because sometimes you're up in a plant or you're working on a truck. Okay, hold yours. I'm redeeding myself. I have my pistol. He's got his Did you spy block? Yeah. You rock. Which one did you get? I got the 23 and the flat dark earth. Oh, good choice. Yeah. I. That is a great list. I love this totally wants to see this. Yeah. You guys know what it looks like. What a great gun. Okay, yeah. we're going to call you redeemed. Thank you. <laughs> it's not loaded. It's not ready. I'm somewhat redeemed. Somewhat redeemed. Somewhat redeemed. Oh, yeah. But, Good uh, job. Did you get a decent price for it? I did. How much? Yeah, uh, five fifty. Okay, yeah, yeah. totally. Yep. Totally uh, doable. Happy. Good on you. That, yeah. You'll be so glad you got I, it. I'm excited to, yeah, this is for defense and all around. You can't beat it. Oh, can you honestly have too many Glocks? No. Is it no. possible? <laughs> it's like having, I don't know, too many S2 juices. Oh, wow. Look oh, at that so synergy. Awesome. <laughs> it's like Wonder Woman knocking her bracelets together. <laughs> Napoleon, <laughs> you don't even get it. You gotta have an S2 juice, Napoleon. That's cool, man. You well done, brother. Too. Okay, yeah. so you got a multi tool. How about a light? I do. Go, come over here to this wall. Okay. By the way, this used to be all PMAGs. This yeah. is our PMAG wall. I was here a couple of weeks ago and it was full, and I got one yeah. for like 14 bucks or something. You know, like 14, 16 bucks. Now, are you like all of us, and as soon as this, if and when this crap passes, you're gonna sell your guns? Because I don't know about you, I'm selling all my guns. You're selling all of them? Heck yeah. Yeah. There you go. Actually, I think most of mine are already gone. There, oh, you jumped. See, you're smart, Well, man. Diane Feinstein kind of talked some logic into being some sense. So. <laughs> That's right. Sell your guns. There you go. Be political or sell them. That's what I say. Dude! Oh, my gosh. Three modes. Look at that. Oh, Yours wow. is bigger than mine. <laughs> I what hear are that you a laughing lot. about? I hear that a lot. I don't know. What, what are you talking about? Uh, Dude, what are, it's the same ProTac. Yours is an AA, mine's a AAA model. Oh, sweet. That's probably a little Does easier for carry. Lights. You have yeah. more burn time with that one. Yeah. Uh, th it, I just love them both. Yeah. Look at how Boba Fett mine's getting. Yeah. Sick. This I just barely replaced because I had the small little Stylus Pro. And it was a Generation 2 that they updated and it kept having problems. So okay. It was gone. Yep. Out of there. Sorry. Dude, you're doing good in this gear check. So far, so good. Yeah, we haven't got to the, the meat potatoes yet, though. Uh, also... Gunnage. Yeah, I know you got... Oh, you got, like, Thunderwear. Dude! Oh, my gosh, you're like... I, I don't want to film your crotch. It's always awkward. So go ahead and lift it. I want to film from this angle right here, so I'm not feel, filming your ball sack and stuff. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm, I'm not Crockett. Crockett. Well, <laughs> He's going to see this video go, Dude! <laughs> Crockett! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you get such huge points for this gear check, it's not even funny. Because you have a PF9 and it's the limited edition brown that I talked about. I love that color. That was hard to find, wasn't it? Yeah, I finally found it at Gunny's. They had it there. It was a little bit more, but yeah, I saw that color. I was like, yeah, that's cool. I'll we were it. just at Gunny's. Uh, I was yesterday and they're, they're very skeletal, just like this place is. 
Good on you. Wow, awesome. flying colors. Okay, now this is really going to put you over the top. Are you ready for this? I mean, this okay. is going to launch you into the stratosphere of awesomeness if okay. you can answer this question. Okay. What is the code phrase in a recent video I said if you watched the entire series, you would have a code phrase? Oh, man. I hope I don't fail. You're going to fail. I, I probably will. I, I worked uh, like 60 hours <laughs> don't worry this week, it. so I probably will I could fail. really bust on it, but that's okay. okay. He passed this gear check so solidly. You're already in Hall of Fame status okay. here with the gear okay. check. That is irrefutable. <laughs> Your status is... In, in great. Okay, I'll redeem myself and have to go watch it, but yeah. I ain't going to tell you what video it's in. There is a code phrase for the stratosphere of awesomeness for I'll, TMP. Uh, I'll write mean. Barry the code phrase later on. And I'll <laughs> redeem myself. You're going to see it like a thousand times. <laughs> Guys, don't say it in the comments. <laughs> Not in this video. Come on now. <laughs> The Falcon is on the car hood. No, that's not it. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, great job. Great job. You. And your life philosophy, obviously, you're dialed into what we're dialed into. Yeah. Uh, I imagine you're married. Yes. You have children. Uh, no Try it didn't work, so we're oh. going to be adopting. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, well, it happens. Okay. Got to just keep on going. So. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, thank you. Thank you yep. for your vids you put out there, for in, if and when you put them out there in defense, in yep. your face, truth ranting defense of the you Second better. Amendment. Absolutely. We need more voices out there. And uh, good luck selling your guns. I hope you get full price for them all. Yeah, you bet. This is nothing fancy project. This is Fire Armageddon in progress, December 2012, and it is freaking ugly. It feels good to be somewhat prepared over the years, though, right? It does. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Ouch.